the year 2004, Beirut, Lebanon. A special day for a little boy on an outing with his grandfather, Lebanese Prime Minister Rafik Hariri. Prime Minister Hariri was at the helm of five Lebanese governments from 1992 to 2004, spearheading the reconstruction of Lebanon as a nation torn by 15 years of war. He was a visionary statesman and an eternal optimist. Lebanon is a small country but a very special one with a perfect position on the eastern Mediterranean shore. A mild climate throughout the year, a history going back thousands of years, diverse geography, a rich architectural heritage and a very vibrant lifestyle which has helped to characterize the Lebanese, a people with religious diversity and cultural wealth. It is a country whose citizens and visitors described it in the 1960s and 1970s as a Switzerland of the East. The Lebanese war started in 1975, destroying this country's charm with bombs and bullets. For 16 years, Lebanon was torn apart by factions and militias. The leading democracy in the Arab world became a series of security and sectarian enclaves, plagued by snipers and ruled by warlords. The country was divided into cantons, and its capital, Beirut, was split into two. Israel invaded Lebanon in 1982, occupying for the first time an Arab capital. Tens of thousands of shells fell on Beirut. The conflict left many thousands of people dead or injured in a country of just four million people. People's living conditions were very tragic. Rafik Hariri began his involvement in the political and economic life of his country long before he became Prime Minister. As a Lebanese businessman living in Saudi Arabia, he was concerned about the ongoing strife in Lebanon and he played a behind-the-scenes role as a mediator, advisor and promoter of ceasefires and agreements to end the civil war. In 1989, Rafik Hariri was the power behind the Ta'if Agreement, which succeeded in eventually ending the war and the drafting of a new constitution for Lebanon. This agreement was the political contract that laid down the principles of national reconciliation which governs political life in Lebanon today. The state was deep in debt in the aftermath of war and its budget suffered a 50% deficit. Salaries were at their lowest level ever due to soaring inflation. Faced with monumental challenges, the first government of Prime Minister Rafik Hariri took office in 1992. Serious questions were being asked about the capabilities of the government and the ability of Lebanon to develop from a divided and destroyed country into a unified and developing nation. Major works were launched all over the country. Lebanon's road network was overhauled, including resurfacing existing roads, building new roads, and constructing underpasses and overpasses around the country. The water and power systems were rehabilitated, and large-scale communication and mail networks were established. So colossal was the undertaking that Lebanon's Prime Minister Hariri captured the imagination of world leaders for his efforts to rebuild Lebanon and wondered what was driving him. The vision. We know where we were heading. We want to change the image of, of the country which has been created during the war on one hand. We want to change the situation on the ground which has been 
uh, happened during the war and we ask people to come and see and we have been successful on the three and this is why Beirut now it is the jewel of the Middle East everybody wants to come to Lebanon everybody wants to live in Lebanon everybody likes Lebanon I love Lebanon by 2005 he was still soldiering on and do you still have the um, the willpower the energy of course the I enthusiasm do enthusiasm to oh, carry on with oh, this of course of course I am a young man, I am only 60. <laughs> 145 days later though, his life was savagely ended. 22 others were also killed in the Beirut bomb attack. Prime Minister Hariri's death led to the Cedar Revolution that eventually saw the withdrawal of Syrian troops from Lebanon and is regarded by some observers as a prelude to the Arab Spring. In a fitting epitaph, he captured, in his own words, the very essence of the Lebanon Prime Minister Rafik Hariri lived and died for. Our destiny is to live together, from Muslim, from Christian, from Druze, Sunni, Shiite, Maronite, anyone. The common ground among each other is much more than, than, than the differences. <laughs>